Hello security tube. Welcome to another video. And in this video, actually I'm going to talk to you about another challenge solution um which is challenge 7. And actually this <coughs> video it may be the the last video on solving challenges using Python and I just I just made these two videos um just to motivate you to go ahead and subscribe to Pentester Academy and get more videos about um, the web app application challenges, JavaScript, course, and Python, shell coding, and many, many other interesting videos over there. So, in this tutorial or in this video, actually, I'm gonna show you how to solve this. How did I solve this challenge using Python? Challenge 7. Um, so, let me explain what the challenge says actually so basically the challenge says the website admin went to the local cafe to grab a coffee and he just received a call from his team who urgently request him to log in to the website and upload the file and upload file so as the site uses http digest authentication so the website actually uses this type of authentication so the password is encrypted um over the network when it sends over the network and communications or the password when it travel when it's it's it is traveling between uh, from the client to the server the the password is encrypted so he feels confident that his password is never sent over the network and uh, actually that guy has connected to the coffee Wi-Fi and being the Wi-Fi guy um, the Wi-Fi guy actually managed to capture the a pickup file which is the digest exchange so he, this actually contains the exchange data between um the client and the server and he just he's requesting us to um crack the help him to uh in cracking username and password um so actually he gave us some hints here the usernames the available usernames are nick jack vivek admin so on and the password complexity um, is six characters and usually and uses only one two three and XYZ letters lowercase and here's some examples on the password one two on one two two three three and so on and you can download the pickup file from here and actually here the challenge says you, you could try scripting your own tool using Python and that's what we're going to do in this tutorial and actually um, Vivek Ramachandran our instructor has solved this this challenge using John the Riper and not Jack the Riper because actually he in the last in the video solution he kept saying Jack the Riper and I was wondering why he He's calling the tool Jack the Riper, and until in the middle of the video, he just found out that he he just um, he was calling the, the tool Jack the Riper. Anyway, he solved the challenge using John the Riper, and I'm gonna show you how to create your own tool to solve the challenge. So let me open up, uh, log into Kali, our friend, root tour. Let me enter full screen. So let's open up a new terminal and let's navigate into desktop challenge 7. Let me um, so as you can see here we have the the pickup file as well as the Python script. So let's Wireshark the pickup file. Awesome. So here we go. Let's let me do a filter on http dot request dot method dot method is equals equals to get and here is we have one packet and let me expand the http field or header and as you can see here here we have some interesting information. Let me actually follow TCP stream and as you can see here from this um this using this informations the captured um, informations uh, or information we have we are going to solve the challenge and if you are not familiar with um digest authentication you can go ahead and download um or visit the web challenges or the web app course there is a, a video um actually i think the vi the video is called um digest authentication and 
based on RFC or calculation based on RFC 2617. So you can go ahead and um, understand how to um, how to calculate the different hashes to in order to calculate to this response. Okay. So um, I already copied this information on my Python program. So let me close Wireshark and let's open up our pro Python tool. So as you can see here, we are using Hashlib, and actually I'm importing only the MD5 method. We are importing the argv method from Sys, and actually, as always, Colorama in order to colorize our output. And let me delete these two lists. So we are checking here if, as always, if the the length or of the given arguments are not equal to is not equal to two. We are going to print the usage to the user, and exit exit actually with a an exit status code of one. We have the file name here, and this should be passed to the command line as the first um, the first argument to the command line uh, to uh, to the command line. Let's so we are going to type Python our program, and followed by the the dictionary file and actually here we are opening we will open we're going to open this file name as read and we are going to call the read line method um, the read line method to read each line from that le that file and now here we have our information so this information actually has been captured or taken from the pickup file so we have the realm which is Pentester Academy we have the method URI this is actually the method should be concatenated with um, the URI and here actually I don't know why the URI is slash because it should be the URI actually should be let me view page source let me search for I'm sorry for method so as you can see here the URI should be this particular one but I don't know why uh, in the challenge actually is slash in the pickup file and we have actually this actually should be concatenated between each other and with a column uh, separated with a column and we have the quality of protection which is auth we have the client nouns and the nouns uh, the nouns value and the the nonce um, count and the response. So what we are going to do actually is to calculate our own response with a particular packet or with um, with um, a, a given password and we are going to compare it with the response and if actually do the two values matches we are going to print the user the password used in the um, in the calculation. So uh, operation so actually let me make, make some changes here and actually this the hash two is constant we are not going to calculate it um, in a, a lot of time because actually we are entering his a for, in here a for loop so let me calculate it first and actually here I define the function I called it get response and I'm looping through all these usernames and from the pickup file if you remember um, let me Wireshark um, desktop challenge 7 and HTTP from the pickup file um, let me HTTP dot request is equal to get I'm sorry so from the pickup file um, we you may notice that you may notice that the username was web admin but according to the challenge we are going to use all these usernames okay so we are looping through these usernames and for we enter another loop for loop for password in each um, line for from the word list we are going to calculate the value of hash1 and the the hash1 actually is the user column realm column password we are going to calculate the md5 value and actually we are going to calculate the hash2 value which is the md5 of the method column uri the method column uri and then we are going to calculate the response which is the md5 of the hash1 column nonce column uh, nonce count column counts or client nouns column quality of protection and 
colon hash two. And actually we're going to compare it with this particular value that the value captured from the pickup file and if these two values matches we are going to print so we are going to print to the user the the password that has been used to crack or to calculate the matched um, value okay else we are going to print our tested hash and finally we are going to call our um, function so let me actually create our dictionary and the minimum length if you remember the password complexity was sex so the minimum um, length is sex and the maximum is sex and the available um, the allowed letters are 1 x 2 y 3 z okay so we are going to redirect this um, all these passwords to me I'm sorry so to pass dot txt x y z one two okay so as you can see here we have our dictionary list so let them or let me last pass as you can see here we have a lot of um, password combinations here so let me python um, and followed by our tool so you can make it executable but we are going to execute it and give it the word list and there you go so we are trying to attempting the tool attempts to is attempting to crack the password and as you can see here it has successfully find the password and the, the username so let me finish this challenge the username is web admin and the password is xyz123 so let me go here web admin xyz123 X Y Z one two three, and there we go. So we, well done. This challenge has been cracked. So hopefully you like this video. You like this Python tool, simple Python tool, um, and hopefully you, you go ahead and subscribe to Pentester Academy, because it's a nice place where you can learn a lot of different topics at one place. Um, think I would like to thank you for viewing this video. See you next time.